What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fizz here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys part seven of the Marvel Snap Alphabet Challenge, and I'm excited because we're almost done. And to be quite frank, some of these decks ain't been that good. But I digress. Um, today I do want to just say, yo, uh, Prodigy, uh, thanks so much for your awesome comment. I decided to feature you today. Um, <laughs> I'm look. I'm gonna be keep pushing this content out, my boy. Please just support me and uh, let me know if you guys have any problems or if you like something or if you don't like something. That's the only way I was a content creator. I can get better at doing it besides you know people watching it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be featured in the next video. You never know. I could choose you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the decks. We're gonna be having a stew decks this week. We got decks S. T and U. Um, and they were all right. Not terrible, but I will say this out of about 13 games, and you know what? I'll give you a chance to stop, pause the video, and guess how many games we won. Okay, you're wrong. We only won five games. Five to, to win, but at the same time, that means we lost like eight games. It wasn't fun. But. Let's go ahead and get into the actions. Go ahead and start off with the S deck. So the S deck actually is pretty funny. It's one of the last decks that we actually can fully fill out with cards and start with S. So we got like Sunspot in there, Scorpion, Sandman, um, Spider Woman, all these kind of cards, and they just they're okay. It's not a bad deck. Um, especially when you get to choke people out with Sandman. And that's what we tried to do in this first game, but we got Arrowed. This is back when Arrow was actually like a super good card. I still don't think she's bad, but she, she managed to cause me to lose this first game. So, yikes. Next game went better. The enemy actually dropped Sentry. Y'all know who plays Sentry, but apparently they were trying to um, I'm assuming throw Void over with Viper, but we were preemptively filling in that lane. So they decided to pull me over into the space room with Polaris. And I guess they were aiming for my Scorpion, but they ended up pulling my Sunspot. So they leave, we get one cube. Yay! That's one victory. That's one victory. The next two games actually suck to high health. Um, we actually forget that Nightcrawler can move. We thought that we had the game in the bag and Nightcrawler moved, they Spectrum and they they managed to tie us mid. We lose the tiebreaker, unfortunately. And the game after that, um, RNG takes us out. We managed to sword master our own Sandman. But I don't think it mattered anyway. We had already stormed the left lane and locked ourselves out of a lane with Killmonger, or not Killmonger, a uh, Collector, and there was a tie over on that lane. So he literally just needed to play like one card, he ends up playing Agent Coulson, we lose that side. We also lose the right side as well. But it just comes to show you that these decks end up killing, I end up killing myself with these decks more than anything. And that's annoying, but uh, anyways, moving on. In the next game, everybody's favorite location popped up, Ego. And I had already snapped. I just decided to snap because at this point I was losing so many cubes. I didn't really care if I lost any. I just knew that gaining as many as I could possibly gain was the most important thing. So we snapped. Uh, the enemy actually did snap until like way later, but it didn't matter. We managed to um, actually get Ego to drop down um, Sandman and Sandman pretty much caused them to get choked and we end up winning the tiebreaker. Nobody played on the right side, or I guess Ego never played on the right side. If anybody would have, then that probably would have been a game, but no one did, so it was fantastic. We end up taking that game and we get to move on to the next deck, finally. The T deck doesn't start off very well. First game, we lose to a Daredevil, Destroyer, Professor X combo. The game after that, we lose to a danger room fucking and the last game just ended up being TV you know the third game ended up being TVA and it just wasn't happening uh, they actually pulled out a bunch of hefty cards with Jubilee on turn four so it really didn't matter what we did we just completely got good 
but then things turn around for the better and we actually win the next game we get four cubes we can leave this to go to the final deck of the day um, it was actually pretty awesome um it was a bot it was it was a bot no i do about it was a bot they did some stupid stuff anyways uh moving on to the last deck um this deck was super hard to make because there's not very many heroes that actually have a name to start with you. I think there was like two, maybe. So the first game with the U deck actually was going okay. We dropped Pop Goblin down over on his wrong lane, which clogged him up. And we thought to ourselves, well, now all we gotta do is drop a few cards over here on the left lane and we can win. Those cards we chose was gonna be Black Panther into zero. We thought that'd be maybe an, enough power. You know, that's 11 points of power. Maybe we can win. Maybe he doesn't have anything that, you know, that he needs. Well, he also decided to go for that lane. Um, you know, not, not surprisingly. Uh, but what is surprisingly is that he actually chose to do Black Panther as well. And he, I'm pretty sure he won this because his Black Panther was very, and it was better than mine, unfortunately. The game after that one was fantastic. We actually uh, got really good value out of Uatu. Uh, we found out that uh, Kiln was over on the right, so we could go ahead and drop Uatu over there on the right, and Mirror Dimensions in the middle. And we don't play there, but we kind of have a feeling that it's probably, I mean, it's probably gonna be Kiln. Uh, but we, we only need to win one lane, so we just go ahead and speed run over to the third area. Cause we know that it's killed and they're playing in the middle because right now it's mirror dimension and they don't know what the third place is um and it was just really funny uh dark dimension was on the left and we were gonna claw and beat them on kiln but also we had ultron to fill the other lanes so we were going to win this game but they decided to retreat so we ended up taking that dub we um if i recall i think we got two cues from that but it really didn't matter because the next game uh we end up being able to win the last game we end up winning with a ultron and blue marble combo um the enemy they they try to throw every goblin that, that's in the game at us and they managed to get hobgoblin over but on turn six we had priority and we threw out ultron so they couldn't get their green goblin to get over and i don't think they would have won if it got over but it didn't matter we were still able to win and that game was worth four cubes so we ended up taking it and we end up finishing the challenge for the day uh the next video is actually going to be the rest of the letters so i hope you guys are looking forward to that hey guys thanks for watching and if you really enjoy the video today be sure to go ahead and click my face and subscribe and if you want to watch another video here's a playlist or the next video right here peace